Hey guys, Zero here to talk to you about the Sony wireless adapter for the DualShock 4. So this little thing just came out this Monday, September the 19th, uh, 2016. With this little thing, you can say goodbye to cables and finally stop dragging half of your desk to the floor every time you rage quit. Yes, it's the DualShock 4 USB wireless adapter. Terrible name, but basically it's a Bluetooth dongle. So plug this thing in, wait for Windows to find the drivers, boom, you're done, right? Nope, wrong. So I found that basically this thing installs itself as, well, itself. So a PlayStation 4 DualShock controller, which is not a generic controller, therefore no games recognize this. They look at it and say, oh, sweet, a controller we don't have any idea how to use. Thank you, Sony. Thank you so much for doing this. Right now, pretty much no game supports this. One game that has been confirmed is For Honor, which is from Ubisoft. That will actually come out in 2017. But right now, the big ones, uh, GTA 5, Metal Gear Solid 5, Rocket League, all these games have supported natively the controller plugged in directly through USB. No tinkering to do. It just worked. But this thing doesn't work. It's fairly understandable, though. It's new, those games are older, they didn't program for those drivers, they're looking for the drivers from the controller itself, this is a different driver, hence, no worky. So return the piece of shit and be done with it. It was going to be that until I found a beautiful bastard on the internet who created Input Mapper, and he's actually got this thing working. Now, the magic is that it's a software that interprets your commands and feeds them back to the system in a way they understand. So the system now thinks you have an Xbox controller. So a little bit more detail. Go to the Input Mapper website, link found in the description below, download the program, install it. Go back to the website, find the update, again, link is in the description, extract all those files from the zip into the installation directory of the program, it will tell you to override some files. Go ahead and do that, and then you're done. No, literally, you are done. Run the program, you will find your controller, done. Obviously, pair it with the dongle beforehand, but that's obvious, right? Hey look, now you're playing wirelessly. Congratulations. One last tip. If you want to power off the controller, just hold the PS button in the middle of the controller down for about 10 seconds. Good luck.